Amid the ruins of Mas Geli, an old farmhouse of which only two facades with buttresses and a few spaces with stone vaults remained, this new house emerges, reinterpreting the values of vernacular architecture without abandoning contemporaneity. The design aims to be consistent with the context, seeking the integration of the new farmhouse into the landscape with ancestral farmhouses. The morphology of the old farmhouse determines both the structural typology, massive walls and ceilings, and the spatial organization, sequence of structural rooms of the new house which adopts an orthogonal grid of successive rooms configured by load-bearing walls. Very thick cyclopean concrete and structural vaults either in pre-existing stone or new concrete. To the south and west, where fewer pre-existing elements remained, the volume is completed with new reinforced cyclopean concrete walls, mimicking the texture and color of the existing farmhouse and incorporating stones sourced from the ruins. A large L-shaped porch is incorporated into the house. It emphasizes the connection between the life of the farm and the nearby land to step and the distant territory to observe. To the west, it connects the house with the vineyards, with pals as a backdrop. To the south, it controls the sunlight and extends the kitchen and its activities towards the garden. The kitchen is the most emblematic and characteristic space of the house. A large 100 square meter room with double height ceilings, it offers views to the west, towards the vineyard, and opens to the garden and pond to the south. A multifunctional space capable of hosting various gastronomic events, large family and friends meals, private wine tastings from the estate, or simply accommodating everyday family activities. Surrounding this dining area are the living spaces and an office. The two stone facades that remained almost intact to the north and east were consolidated and restored, respecting their values in terms of material and composition, with new openings added. The new roof, made of tiles and supported by a visible wooden structure inside, restores the original height of the building and its continuous double slopes from north to south, forming a simple volume.
The combination of pre-existing stone walls and structural vaults, along with new concrete walls, has been left exposed internally to create contrasts between old and new. Now the concrete walls, cast in 25 centimeter layers and lightened with our light, which provides insulation, not only bring structural and aesthetic qualities to the house, but also thermal behavior, inertia. Inertia that, along with minimized openings and the predominance of massive walls over the few openings, creates an almost self-sufficient climatic tool inheriting the tradition of ancestral farmhouses. This passive behavior is complemented by a radiant floor system, geothermal, and in summer by an additional supply of air, cooled as it passes through the chamber of the sanitary slab, which is directed into the hottest rooms under the roof of the first floor. The bedrooms are located on the first floor. Both enjoy views of the Meads Islands, 